And like I say, surface corrosion isn't the end of the world. If that was able to be removed and neutralized, which we commonly do on E46s and other vehicles, that's not the end of the world, but it's the trapped corrosion, which is the biggest problem on all vehicles and provides us and most restorers with big problems. So trapped corrosion is a perfect example here of an E46 chassis leg on the right hand side. Um, initially it just looks, well, it's got corrosion around the outside. Most people would just think, well, that's fine because you would just knock off all this loose corrosion, spend a few hours even with a wire wheel and just take off this surface corrosion. But the surface corrosion is only half of it. Uh, trapped corrosion is where you've got panel overlaps uh, here's another example here where this is the floor pan and this is the transmission tunnel supporting bracket. And you can see the bubbling nature of where the corrosion is growing underneath this way and causing the seam sealer to delaminate off the floor pan. But as well as us taking the surface corrosion off, what are we going to do? I pose the question to anybody really who, who thinks this is a straightforward process. What would you do with the corrosion which is underneath that panel and on top of that panel? So we're talking in this strip here. If you could imagine see through that panel, underneath it is that panel and it's going to be just as violently corroded but yet you can't get to it because it's spot welded together. Same thing if you look down this chassis leg, you can see it's a hollow, that section there. If you had a special tool, you could probably get down there, but you can't even get a finger in. So you're not going to be able to take out all the corrosion which is in that chassis leg. And you certainly aren't going to get any of the corrosion out which is on the contact patch. So from there to there, all the way down is the contact patch where the seam sealer, sorry, the chassis leg is spot welded to the floor pan. And again, you can get rid of the surface corrosion, but how do you get to it inside there? Well, the only option is to replace panels or certainly recondition panels. And that means cutting these panels off. As drastic as it sounds, it's chassis leg removal. It's either buying new panels from the manufacturer, in this case, BMW. That is how uh, a restoring uh, process would have to be. If the panel is too affected to reuse, which this one might be, it might be salvageable, but whether it gets reused or replaced, it still has to come off the vehicle. There is no way you can leave corrosion underneath contact patches and call it a success or even call it a restoration or a repair because it will just come back. There is no real way around it. Same thing here when I outline the edge of the transmission tunnel supporting bracket, there's the join line at the end of it and then it goes down that way and all this staining under here is the corrosion which is rife under here. Um, there is no nice way to put it but certain cars and I'm afraid this one it's uh, it's horrible to say but it is riddled with corrosion underneath trapped panel areas so this is going to need some serious thought attention and decide what route is best to go because there are many ways to approach this there are basic ways to keep this car going for a few more years or there's cars to keep this on the road for another 20 years with restoring techniques.